Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show you how to use the NextGen 3 remote with the NextGen 3 sensor. So the sensor is here, got a very advanced microwave sensor, also a very intelligent remote. So the first thing to know is the on off button here is the first thing is to turn off, turn on the remote. You'll see the buttons light up on the buttons that are active. The daylight button you'll notice is not active because it can either choose to be turned on or off. So if we want that to be turned on, just hold that one down there to engage that one there. Everything else we set based on pressing the buttons and you can see that it moves it around. Once we have the settings where we want them, we simply hit send, we see the light turn on and it accepts the sends. If, there's, if you're doing a large parking lot and you wanted to do a lot of them, let's say I'm going to put them all into you know, position two here. We can put them all over here. Now they're all in the position two, and we can actually hold down mode two and have that save as mode two and it blinks back to us. So then when you go to other lights, you can simply press mode two and send and move through quickly on programming your light. So um, one other feature to note is the on-off button is both the on-off for the remote as well as for the light. So again, holding this one down and the light will turn completely off. So it can be used as a remote light um, if you want to. Then we're going to go ahead and turn it back on again here. It's a long press to on the on-off button to make that the short on-off is just for the remote. So that is how you program it. Um, and then reviewing the settings, your brightness is again how bright you want the light to be at full brightness. The whole time is how long you want it to stay there. The daylight settings is how uh, much daylight you want it to absorb on there in terms of the Lux Outdoors. So um, if it's coming on during a foggy day or a cloudy day or coming off too early, then you can adjust that daylight settings to adjust how sensitive that is. Again, sensitivity is how sensitive the sensor is. So um, if you're picking up too many objects at 100%, you might want to come back down to, say, 75% to adjust the sensitivity just down a little bit. And then standby dimming is how long it's going to stay at the dimming level or, or the dimming percentage of light, that's 20%. And then standby time. You can leave it infinite. You know, that would be the, the standard if you just want it to always stay at a dim settings during the night. Um, that's usually recommended, but you can't have it go all the way off as a three-step dimming. So that is how you use the Next Gen 3 remote with the Next Gen 3 sensor. Mm -hmm.